everybody? This is your boy Justin Kicks hitting you with a new new video today, uh, new episode, new iteration, new uh, installment of uh, Real Heat or Hype Beast, man. Uh, before I get into the video, though, make sure you do like, subscribe, comment, share, all those great things, man. I appreciate everybody that checked out my last couple videos, my top 10 for 2020, and then also my... Uh, that Jordan won center court seemed to, uh, you know, spark a little controversy with that, which is good. Everybody gave their opinions. It was kind of 50 50. A lot of people felt like it was a great sneaker and needed to be released. Uh, some other people felt like, kind of like me, that the sneaker was just uh, another sneaker that if it hadn't have got the hype of being in the documentary, may not have gotten any love at all. But that's the great thing about sneaker sneaker community. The great thing about sneakers, people like what they want, people wear what they want, regardless of what other people say. So getting back to this video, this real heater hype beast, the sneaker I'm talking about is the Kobe 6 Grinch or the Kobe Grinch 6, however you want to say it. Uh, lime green shoe, uh, red laces. Basically, they call it a green apple, but basically everybody knows it's representing the Grinch. The Grinch just stole Christmas, so what perfect day to release it than Christmas Eve. Uh, so anyway, before we take a look at the sneaker, I just want to take a quick look back uh, of the history of Kobe and Christmas sneakers. R realistically, all the big athletes from that time period up uh, on Christmas Day is a huge day for the NBA, and everybody wants to break out their, their best sneakers for that day. Usually they get a, a specific Christmas uniform, and along with that, the biggest stars play on that day, and they want to put on their, their best sneaker. The sneaker companies want to put them in their best sneakers, and Kobe Bryant has always came with some heat, heat on Christmas, starting back to the chaos all the way up to the Kobe 10, right? So... Grinch 6 is by far, to many, his best Christmas shoe. But my favorite Kobe Christmas shoe was the Cheetah. I'm fortunate enough to be able to have that one. This is, this is my favorite Christmas sneaker, so I'm happy I already have that. If I'm able to get my hands on this one, it'll probably be my second favorite pickup. If you watch my uh, top 10, then you'll know uh, the Bruce Lee 5 is my favorite. Yeah, that wouldn't change if I got these, but I would probably have a new number two. And that's strictly because I love this shoe, and Kobe Bryant's my favorite basketball player of all time. Based on what's happened up to this point, I'd have to think, you know, this was going to fly just like all the others. There's no reason for it not to. It may be the best of the ones they've released this year, plus the fact that anybody who's anybody is trying to get their hands on anything that's Kobe uh, since he passed, which, you know, we'll, that's... I've talked about that in other videos, man. But anyway, so the Kobe Grinch 6 comes out December the 24th. Uh, the price will be $180. It's going to be available pretty much everywhere, but don't let that fool you because it's going to be limited, limited numbers. And, and Bots is going to pick up whatever it can get. So to manually get this sneaker is going to be almost impossible unless you hit on some raffles. I put in for raffles pretty much all over the United States. But the only manual one I got was the Bruce Lee. You know, luckily I was able to hit on that. 2010 is the first time we saw this sneaker and uh, it's a lot of people's grail. So to have this sneaker re-released and put out to the public, a lot of people that didn't think they'd ever have a chance to have it, have a chance now. Whether you want to secure a pair and you don't mind paying resale, you might want to get in now and order one because depending on the availability of them on release day, it could really fluctuate that, that resale price. This is a sneaker that I want. It's a sneaker that I'm not getting my hopes up for. Uh, sneakers app is, is, is pretty much like hitting the lottery for me these days. Uh, I've hit, I think, twice this year on the Kentucky Dunk and then on the Jordan 1 uh, Japan, the blue and white one. I just try to see if I can hit sometimes because I never do, but I actually wanted the Dunk, so I was happy to get those. The Jordan 1s was kind of just luck on that just to see what my luck would be. But again, you know, the Kobe series in general has been a great thing for Nike. Uh, a, a very popular sneaker. A lot of the NBA players love to wear Kobe's to play in. Then when you bring in the fact that these are specialty Christmas shoes, and there's been a lot of great Christmas shoes, just not with Kobe. LeBron's had some, Kevin Durant, um, Kyrie. There's been some great Christmas shoes that have dropped, uh, but 
for most people, when you talk about Christmas shoes, the Kobe line has really gotten a lot of love, gotten a lot of love. And, and I'm one of those people that's been giving it the love. So anyway, I'm not going to make this a long video. You know, in the comments, let me know your strategy maybe for going to go after this sneaker. There's only so many ways you can get a sneaker. Uh, if you got the money, the easiest way is just to pay resale. Then you have to worry about everything. But to cop it manually without bots these days, unless it's a huge, huge general release, it's just hard to get anything, man. And I think that's what we're going to have with this sneaker right here. I, I extremely, ex I'm going to try extremely hard to get it. Uh, I'm, like I said, I put in every raffle, hoping I hit on one. Fun of it for me is trying to get it on release day for the retail price. But this sneaker being as special as it is to me and me trying to build up my Kobe collection from all the stuff I've missed in the past, I... I may have to break down and pay resale. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie. But I really would like to have these in the collection. <laughs> not at all cost. But if it's reasonable, I still may have to go ahead and pull the trigger because I definitely, definitely want these in the collection, man. So, again, real heat or hype beast. There's no doubt in my mind that this is real heat. It may have a high resale value or it's popular, more popular now than it was before because of whatever reason. In this case, anything that has Kobe Bryant on it now or anything related to Kobe Bryant, unfortunately, because of his passing, is, is skyrocketed and became extremely popular, man. So anyway, real heat for sure, for sure, for sure on these Grinches. A lot of people already got them. They've been rocking them. You've been seeing them do reviews on them. Um, your boy wasn't lucky enough to get in on that. So I, I would have loved to have already had them in hand. But you know what? It is what it is. I'm glad. For, I know for sure some of the people that got them were extremely big Kobe fans. So I'm happy for that. Goat Weezy was one for sure that I know was a huge Kobe fan. So I was glad he was able to pick them up. So anyway, before I get out of here, let me know your favorite all-time NBA Christmas sneaker uh, from whatever athlete, Kobe, LeBron, whoever the case may be. And uh, j just let me know, man, over the holidays, what sneakers have you picked up that you've been extremely happy to get, man? But uh, this is Justin Kicks, man. Appreciate all the love. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, all those good things, man. And I'm going to get up out of here and holler at you next time, man. Peace.